YouTube, what's up? It's Valak. As you can tell, it's not a PUBG Mobile video. Um, this new NBA game that just came out called NBA Infinite just dropped on February 17th, three days ago, and I have been addicted to this game. And I wanted to show you guys some tips and tricks on how to become a better player within the game and show you a couple of settings you can change to improve your game exponentially. So, um, obviously, I'm already level 25. Um, I was on leaderboards, but I kind of stopped ranking. Right now, I'm just um, in solo stat leaderboards. Uh, but the ranks have been getting more and more competitive because people have been playing more and more. Um, but I already maxed out a LaMelo Ball. I'm the only player in the game right now with a maxed out LaMelo Ball because I think I'm the only person that wanted to play him. Um, but I'm going to show you guys a couple of, um, you know, tips and tricks on uh, how to uh, overall improve your game experience uh, in the new game NBA Infinite. So first, um, I switched everything to uh, basic def um, settings so I could run you through everything. Obviously, I changed like the music, the commentary and the voice chat just because I didn't want it to affect the video. But first, what you guys want to do is turn on this heat map switch. So let me go into a uh, practice game and I will show you what I mean. So every player has a certain like have certain spots that they shoot better, um, shoot better in or like they have like um that like where they where they shoot like the best in is what I'm trying to say. So let me go to free practice and uh, let me turn it off. So when you first start, it will just be a normal half court. Uh, so that's it. the ranked is 3v3 half court. It's not full court. If you want to play full court, you have to go to dynasty and play with the full team of five. Uh, but this is what uh, the basic thing looks like. And then uh, go to basic in your settings and make sure you turn on heat map and it only invade. And you only can enable it in 1v1 and 3v3 ranked. It doesn't work in Dynasty um, from what I could tell. Uh, but I haven't tried it, so it might, but I don't know. Uh, but if you turn it on, as you can tell, you can see uh, a heat map where your player will shoot the best from. Uh, so obviously orange is um, moderate. And then red is where, he, where your player feels the most comfortable from shooting. If I shoot a three from the red zone, it goes in. All right, but let's say if I shoot a three on the on the orange side, it goes in. Um, but obviously, there's chances because uh, you get if you get wide open, you can still make shots from outside of your heat map. Uh, but this just gives you a better idea of where your player will hit the most shots. Second thing is, is if you go to graphics, these are the default graphics. Um, FPS. Uh, you want to put that on super. It's 120 or 90, sorry. And it just makes the game run smoothly. And I mean, gives you a better overall view of um, and smoother view of the game. Um, but yeah, so once you level up certain characters, you can do certain moves. So if you double tap the crossover, you get an acceleration master. So basically like you could sprint um, and that's good for, you know, driving to the basket and um, trying to make like playmaking to get other your other players open. Um, if you continuously tap it, you can do a whole bunch of crossovers and then ultimately score a bucket once you get open. Um, the blue uh, half circle in front of you, when it's blue, you're open. When it's red, uh, when, a, when a defender gets up close to you and it's red, it's more harder to make the shot. Um, but I'm going to show you a couple of moves with LaMelo since I have a fully maxed out. So his first move is he has a back step, right? So what you want to do for a back step is almost every single player in NBA Infinite has a back step once you level them up. So what you want to do is you want to bring your joystick all the way back as well. And your shoot button has a cross, um, a crosshair or not a crosshair, a joystick as well. So once you learn the step back a, a skill move on a player you'll want to move you'll want to move your joystick back and also hold and drag your shoot button away from the bucket and it forms a step back and then obviously your skill bar or your shoot bar pops up and hopefully you get the blue section 
Um, but I've also made it on the yellow sections. But most of the time, if you hit the blue step back, you're going to uh, score. It. The next thing is uh, I'm pretty sure it's a crossover. Um, so basically, you'll move the joystick in one direction. And you'll so I'll move the joystick to my left. And then I'm going to drag my shoot button to my right. And it's going to be not a step back, but I'm going to go to the right. Um, so I'll show you an example of that. So I'm moving left and then I drag my joystick to the right. And that's another move to stay open. Um, yeah, uh, those are that's kind of the rundown. Um, make sure you have the heat map on. Turn up your FPS all the way and understand your player's skill moves because skill moves most of the time get you the scores that you need, especially when you go against high ranked players in 3v3 ranked or in dynasty. Um, it helps you out tremendously and it improves uh, your chance of winning uh, the game. So yeah, everybody take care. Um, go check out this new game, NBA Infinite. Um, I've been having a blast and I'll catch you all next time. Peace.